Okay, if you're watching this video, this is our 100th video, and we're giving away cash. Get subscribing. Good morning everybody, it's Nick at b &P Paving and today we are celebrating, or in this video should I say, our 100th video, which was last week to be honest, but I was so busy, <laughs> um, we didn't really have time to, to go on about it and talk about it, so yeah, it's our 100th video, um, so we'd like to thank all of you up to now, I think we're just about 13,000 subs, um, just like to thank you all um, for all your comments, your likes, um, obviously the subscriptions, it's been amazing. We can't believe how well it's gone and we look forward to it going further. So let's get us up to 20,000 uh, people, let's get stuck in. So to celebrate, we've decided to do a little competition. Okay, so I'm not really sure how to do this. Um, so <laughs> we're not. I'm not used to doing competitions and giveaways. So what I felt would be a good idea was um, we're going to give away £250 to one of our subscribers. So all you've got to do to be in a chance to win the £250 is subscribe, like this video, and comment where you live. Not your actual address, but you know, the area, country and area, uh, in the comment section. And we're just going to pick one of you at random. I think it's as simple as that, really. I don't, you know, I, I'm not going to overcomplicate it. So uh, yeah, just nice for us to give something, uh, something back to you all. So enjoy. So, we're pretty much complete here. It's all done and dusted. No pun intended, a little bit dusty, but it'll clean off. So yeah, we've just got to kind of load the vans up and get moved off. Nice, easy day, thank God. Good morning. We're in the beautiful Southwell this morning, or this week, should I say. Let's give you a quick show round of the new job. So, this area here, fence panel. Um, what's it called, like a picket one. And then this is having a circle kit of Indian sandstone. And this will be an Indian sandstone patio. So, got to dig that out this morning. So, I'm not 100% sure. But I think this path's coming out. Again, I'm not 100%, but uh, it's highly likely. And then this is the second patio. So again, Indian sandstone, slightly retaining, wally thing at the back or some sort of curbing yet. We're yet to decide with the customer. So we need to sort of see how it looks and where it ends up. And uh, yeah, that's it really. So nice, simple-ish job this week. So uh, rock and roll. So not a bad start to the morning. Some uh, pastries, some pastries. Chris has got a bowl of crisps. Yeah, Chris got, has got some crisps. Yeah, we've gone by today. What are you going for, Chris? I don't even know. He doesn't even know. <sighs> Give it a good He's living life on the edge. What are you going for, Ryan? I'm not too sure to be honest. They all look cinnamon good, swirl. They? they all look good. He's heard about folds a lot. He's heard about folds here. He's got his own stash for the week. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Alleged, bro. 
fact. Converted, aren't you now? Wild accusations. Wild. I'm a holy man. Holy man. I don't even drink no more. Mm. Except for the weekend. In the evening. So we thank the customer who's going to watch this. Yeah. Just to let you know, it's slightly dry. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing shade. But you won't see this till you're paid. <laughs> he will actually, because we'll be in one day. Say sorry. Oh, I love it. Love, oh, love it. cheer. But yeah, something about the cheese, you know, like. Oh, yeah, arms broke. Ugh. Yeah. I can't get this stuff. You just cannot. Where's the respect? Okay, so the machine has finally arrived. We're ready to rock and roll. Get us around the back and get digging. Easier said than done. We had a bit narrow. It's the way it goes. Okay, so that is the first area just about dug out. Connor's just finishing this corner up now. Um, yeah, nice depth on it. We've got stone coming in the morning, so that's the first bit of the job done, so to speak. And then we're going to pop around the front now and get on that second patio. I tell you what, Connell, you know all this weight chain I've been doing in that. Looking all right, on a pal. Yeah, you get someone call you on you. Oh, I'll get called out by some fat bull bloke who sits in his ass looking at kiddie porn. <laughs> Okay, so Chris has just come around the front now. I've just had to get the machine back out of here, which is easier said than done. Pretty tight, I think we had about 10 centimeters of space. But we've done it, and he's gonna get cracking on this area now.
as usual it's raining and on top of that Jordan's arrived from DJ Projects to do the grab and we uh not quite dug out yet so we're frantically trying now to get it dug out in time it's a bit you can't sort of order these things exactly when you want them so they're either late or early <laughs> they never seem to be on time very rarely so um yeah to be fair we're not too far off and i think most of this path we can dig out and put back in here because we're going to get this lower so we can drag it through from the floor back about so anyway we'll click over to that Okay, so have you seen the grab has gone? However, it has left us in a shitty mess. So we are fancy in our trying to clean up. However, <laughs> gravity hair and water are against us. So uh, we're going to keep battling on as we do. We don't give up, do we, folks? Do we, Ryan? Christopher gave up about five years ago. Longer. go all clean got the gear coming in the morning we're ready to go okay so this is where we're at this is all dug out ready to go we've now reduced the path so that's ready to go just needs a bit of a whacker luckily when we took the slabs up there's some nice stone underneath so that's prepped and ready to go tiny bit of collateral damage on the lawn but i mean that'll get back in a week or so a couple of weeks you're gonna get it um it's always a shame when the customers keep the garden so lovely it's uh any damage like that really shows, but um, like I said, a couple of weeks from now it'll be fine. And obviously this area is ready to go, so we're just waiting on a delivery now from Johnny Stevens. Um, so, and we'll get these stoned up, and I'd imagine we're gonna get laid, laid in this area today. But you never know. So uh, that would be my plan for the day. So hopefully if things go swimmingly, we'll get that back area laid today, but we'll see. So, we're trying our hardest to behave at BMP. We don't like to eat too much rubbish, do we, boys? But this is getting out of yeah, hand. So, any potential customers watching, this is the uh, this is the kind of treatment that we require. I don't think we require this kind of thing. I think we deserve. I think we deserve this kind of treatment. Told you, as the uh, as the uh, diet, Tenerife diet, going pal. Bro, you're not shifting it to this before. <laughs> Might as well enjoy yourself. That's what I am doing. Not my bad. You're like Nigel Farage, bro. No, who's not? I was going to say remain. I was going to say remaining. Well, that's not Farage, is it? Squash, squash that bad boy down. The chippy tits are remaining. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've had a bit of a wait this morning. Been a bit of a nightmare. Um, delivery was supposed to be at 8 o'clock this morning. It's now half past 10. It's just arrived. These things happen, to be fair. Mm, did I get the order in late? No later than normal. It just depends how busy people are and whatever. But in our means, we've got some materials so we can finally get doing something. So what we're gonna do is, it's quite a big moffet. So we're gonna get the forklift, bring the stone in here, we're gonna cut the bags into here, and then we can dig it out and barrel it into the back. So that's our first, first port of call.
Okay, so that is the delivery that's just arrived, as you've seen. Me and Connor are going to spend a bit of time knocking the stone around here on the front, and then we're going to go around the back and get that laid. Okay, so we're about halfway, as you've seen on the time lapse. So I don't know what else to say, but should we do another time lapse folder? Might as well. Let's get the rest laid.
Right, Dunford Day. We're Dunford Day, aren't we, youth? We've had enough. Spin you round. That was quick. That's that patio done for now. Got to get in here and soil this up. And we've got to get a curb planter that's running all the way around that edge in. But we ain't got the curbs. That's the plan for um, maybe tomorrow, maybe probably be the next day actually. Tomorrow we're going to have to get in and do all the path and that circle kit on the front and all the rest of the fun stuff. Where's that little bird gone? There's a little bird that we've made friends with that keeps coming right up next to her feet. Don't know where the little baby's gone. It's after worms. Man with no name has been feeding it worms all day. So he's made a friend, probably a family member. Who knows? So we're signing off. Tomorrow's task. Catch you then. Okay, so it's Thursday morning and we have one patio complete. So the plan is to leave this now, work our way out, just because we're waiting for some curbings and things to come. And then what we're gonna do is go down, lay this path today, work our way out. And then this area's got a circle kit going in and get all this laid up, so fair bit to get on with. Okay, so while Chris and Ryan, as you've seen on the time-lapse, have been hard at work on this path, which is new in completion. 
The new folds have been set in, some edgings along here, just refreshing and putting some new ones in. Um, and the customer requested like a one five foot panel here in this gap, just as a bit of a screen area with some trellis fencing. Just to, I think they're going to grow a plant up here, give them a bit of privacy. So that's what we've been doing. So uh, yeah, all very exciting stuff. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Thrilled. And uh, yeah, on to the next job. So if it hasn't been become apparent, we're having trouble with this bloody post on the wall. We're trying to, we've, we've got a load of old drill. I might have to go and get a new bit for this SDS because uh, we've got a Makita impact driver and it just doesn't seem to have, we think like a bearing's gone or something. It doesn't seem to have like the, the drill capacity on it, like the, um, it should sort of vibrate when it, it goes through. It doesn't seem to do that. So I'm, it's, it's pretty new as well. So we think it's broken, but it's not, it's not working. So it's old stuff a little bit. Okay, so after quite a bit of fanning around, we have got the edgings in and this fence is now set. We need to just make a couple of adaptions to the panel. It's a bit loose on the on the slot and drop. So we're gonna put another little timber on the back. We need to get some little nails now to tack it. But uh, yeah, just to stop this knocking about. So we're gonna fix, the folder's got a nail up ready cut. I'm gonna fix them onto here, double it up, wedge it in properly. Should have been a joiner. And that's it, so. In the meantime, we're so ready to rock and roll now. I think the boys are going to start on this area now. So I'll yeah. get this laid up. The fight continues. <laughs> we're losing the world to live. So I don't know where we got to. I don't know where the camera went off because the battery died, but we are slowly getting there. 
setting the circle out. It's nearly there. Oh, pardon? Why, Connell? That is a ridiculous thing to say. Um, okay, so we're still battling on. Sun's out, guns out, and all that. Weather's nice. We're a bit on top of us so all. A lot going on here. It's very technical, but it'll all make sense tomorrow when we explain what we're doing. So I think that's about it for today, to be honest. Um, yeah, it looks a bit cray cray at the minute, but we'll show you tomorrow what we're doing and how it's working, and then it'll look beautiful as it always does. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we are here and we are attempting to complete this patio, Chris is just marking the circle out to cut it, so what he's done is, if you guys can see, is he's slightly overlaid the slabs on all sides, then we're going to mark it, we're just marking it up now, I'm going to cut it, cut the little overhangs off and then drop the circle in, so now you sort of can get an idea of how the patio is going to look once completed, obviously these are going to be flower beds sold up. So it shall be beautiful, shan't it, Foldsy? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, paths all in. And done, ready for graveling. And I've gravel chucked both sides. And then we have curbing, curb stones to go in. And on two sides is patio. Um, we've got one of these tegular, Marshall's tegular curb stones. They're absolutely huge. Really hefty things. The other option was building like a three course wall, one skin, but we just thought genuinely these, well, first of all, these are probably a bit easy to lay. And secondly, with a facing brick, you're always gonna be exposed to the frost and everything. So, I mean, these are gonna be there a million years, the, you know, the solid concrete, whereas using a facing, you know, you're gonna be exposed to frost. So they're not gonna last as long. Plus it'd only be one skin, kind of impractical. This is a lot gonna be a lot more heavy duty and load bearing um which is not really needed but it's yeah just pretty considerable weight to them so we've got them all stacked up ready to go it's just those finishing bits so you know nice curb edge round soiled up a bit of an overhang here these slabs are they're meant to be calibrated but they're awful i don't think any of you guys on here use these but they're never square so we're gonna have to cut some corners off and so on just get it tidy but all in all good job beautiful garden all in all, nice place to work. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get going.
Okay, so as you can see, the curbs are flying in. Get an idea now what's happening. It's only the first row in, so it shouldn't take long to get it complete. Okay, so as you can see now, it's all been cut out. I'm just breaking out the existing beds that were under. So you can, you've got an idea now what's happening. So now it's all been broken out, clearing it all out. And then we'll put a new bed in, drop this circle in, which will return all the way around there. And that'll be your patio completed. So uh, yeah, made that sound loads easier than it is. <laughs> but it's, uh, we're nearly there, aren't we? So that's the first row in, Chris is just completing. Apologies, he's finished on that front now, he's just digging out this side, getting that prep ready. Yeah. Ooh. I'm chipped over. And I'll show you now at the front. Challenge Annika. Show me age now. See, and that's all ready to go. Did you get it now? So overlay it, cut it all back and then drop the inner circle, the outer circle in. Give it a good clean up, and that'll be looking pucker, as Jamie Oliver would say. And then he'd probably put a bit of lemon juice and salt on it, as he does everything. Rock and roll. Okay guys, we're coming up to the end of the video this week. Just to remind you guys, it's competition time, so basically all you have to do is like the video, comment underneath where you're from, don't give me a house address, please, for GDPR purposes. Just roughly where you're from. It's just to enter the competition. Um, and that's it, really. Leave a comment with your your location. Um, like it. Oh, and of course, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribing, you can't be in a chance to win. So then what we're going to do is we are going to draw uh, at random. It's not going to be glamorous. I'm just going to pick a name, and we're going to send, send you over £250 via bank transfer, or if you're local, you can come and collect it and meet us and whatever. So, yeah, rock and roll. So uh, look forward to seeing the comments and um, yeah, enjoy your weekend. Right then, you non-believers. You non-believers. Say peace, Con. Peace. Peace. Curbs in. Spin you around. Get that, another fine mess you got me into. Another fine mess. Looking nice, little Marshalls Tegula pennant grey. Oh, there we go. Had to slice them last two slabs off because these are awful now. 10 mil discrepancy between these slabs. So even on a tiny small area like this, you're getting them not line up. Not good is it, but going downhill, right downhill these Indian sandstone. Slabs with the joints, the sizes, but look good in the end. Do like these monsters, but they are uh, humongous. Picking them up, how much do you reckon they weigh each? What are we saying? Five kg? A bit more. A bit more. Probably is six, seven. Ten. They're not ten kilogram. Probably seven kilogram each. Don't sound a lot, does it? But it is when you're picking them up and trying to lug them around. So there you go. Oof, looking nice though. Don't get anybody's face in. No face, no case. Need a good jet wash down here. I've marked this and old uh, Connell's cut it. So, God only knows if it's right or not. 
What are we saying? Is it going to be good? Has he done a good job? I did mark it, but that's not saying out with Connell, is it? Who knows? It looks good. It looks a nice circle. So we're going to get round here, have a bit of a clean off backwards, and then ping that in. And that's going to be a nice little planter there. So it's going to come across there and then the circle is going to run around it and back in and he's going to put plants in there the customer's going to grow something up against that and yeah it'll look nice and it's all done and cleaned up and jointed and it's got his plants in his table and chairs on it and look nice this will give you an idea look so if you run down that line obviously i've pinged my line down there so that's perfectly straight and if you come here a lot, see I've had to wiggle them about a bit, but you know, look at the discrepancy in them. There you go. To be fair, when the gravel's in and it's on this path, it's not that bad. If it was worse, I would have set a line up down there and cut it. So it's the same all the way down. But kind of catch 22 when you start doing that on natural Indian sandstone slabs it looks a bit crap with a big cut edge running all the way down it so you'd have had that nice natural edge there and then a cut edge there look a bit naff so it's not to be fair no one would ever know once that gravel's in no one will know but I know I got block paving OCD it bugs me so that's it. I did cut that one though, because that one did ping out like that, so the last two have been cut straight. Give you all a little uh, Sunday treat for all Connell's fans out there. Oi, oi. Yo, the there you go. Happy Sunday. Oh yeah, and this is our pal, look. This bird. It's been coming, it got up to about here last time. Look at him. What we called him? Looks like a Gary to me. Okay. That pigeon was called Gary though, wasn't it? Yeah, Remember that pigeon? Something with a B. Bed. Brian? Brian the blackbird. Yes. Brian! No, he didn't turn around for Brian. Let's try some else. Yeah, let's try that. Come on, Colin, let's have a look. Where is he? Bedroom. Bedroom the blackbird. Bill! No. Bob. Bob! No. Oh, God. Let's get round here, let's see what you're doing. Benjamin. Oh, his head went a bit there. Let's go. Let's try that again. Where is he? Benjamin. Nah, did look around a bit more. Could call him Ben. Ben. Benji. Ben. No. No, I don't know. What should we have called him? Brethren. Brethren. No, he's not turning him round. Maybe he ain't got a name. Poor thing, no one's ever named him. What should we say, Ben? Sounds a bit common, that, doesn't it? Hey, copy Ben. I know, I know it's blue. Black. Oh, actually, it's collecting worms, so it's a woman, black yeah. Black with a yellow, mate. Black with a yellow bill, the, black, the female's a brown one. You dickhead. Prove it. <laughs> Wow, we're having a bit of heated discussion. We're having a heated discussion on the sex of this bird. Put, put on your little phone the black one and the yellow is the male. How do you know it's not trans? I'd... I know they don't identify as a woman. Because they don't. Or non-binary. They're not humans, mate. They're not twisted. Wow. They're not twisted. They're not twisted. Wow. They're not, not human. They're wow. not twisted like you. Yeah, they can't well, be possible. There you go. This is just a voice. Where's this voice coming just from? Humans are twisted. Like humans are twisted. <laughs> like the cameraman. You don't want that. <laughs> there we go. Like it's going to be deleted, like you don't know it's me. Nobody knows it's you. <laughs> You'll never know him. The Stig. Right, we've got down into it and we've asked Chat GPT, and it turns out that actually, male blackbird is black with a bright yellow or orange beak, and a female is brown. So, old Stinky the Stig was right. Not necessarily. But he did say that he claims he's right about, but he's not, he's wrong. Well, he claimed that a female goshawk, 
a, a two meter bodies. wingspan. Want it? It was something ridiculous, like a two meter wingspan. So there you go. Was it a female gosso at a two meter wingspan or something? I what was we what arguing about? What did the big this? It was some at least. It was the wingspan. Was it two meters? Something like two meters. It was like a two meter like a, wingspan. Right. The, the thing was, it was on about sparrow hawks, and I was on about a female goshawk that was bigger than a sparrow hawk. No, no, it was sparrow hawk. On it. And even the female sparrow hawk's bigger than the male sparrow hawk. You said a female sparrow was bigger no, than a gosh male goshawk. Gosh I can't remember, don't remember but it was something remember. daft like it had a two meter wingspan. So it just flew in out of Jurassic Park and <laughs> picked, up a, picked up a little mouse next to the road. Right, another beautiful job knocked off the list. Connell's cuts were good. Well, I did mark it for you. Yeah, so all we had to do was more. cut it, but yeah, cuts are good. Tell you what, customer came out this morning and said oh, I was a, an artist. Five uh, times I've heard this today. What else did he say? You're not craftsman, master craftsman. You know what? I've got to agree with them boys. They don't like it, but look at that beautiful bit of work. There'll be someone in the comments who'll slag it off and say it's garbage, but it does look nice, that little circle in there. All falling away, all tied in from there to there. Nice little fall on it. Not going to hold water. And then we're going to have a nice planter in there. As I told you about earlier, so you can see what's happening now. Look, planter's going to run around. So we get some bigger stuff here, smaller stuff around there. Oh, look nice. Look very nice. As you can see, boys are. Uh, are you alright? Hold on. You're going to see. <laughs> Bloody hay fever. So. What will happen is when you lay this, if you just leave the road stone in compacted, water will sit on top of that. So you got to get in and dig it back out. Obviously when we come to put a gravel in we'll get the pick on it and pick all that out properly. So water drains through. But if you are going to do a job yourself, just be aware that it will puddle, it will hold water. This was all puddled up both sides, so be aware of that. They're just tapping some holes in it now, but we'll get in there with a the pick and take that out, loosen it all up. And that's us, isn't it, boys? We're done. We're done for today. Steady one. The infamous words of job and knock. So that's it. Monday, come back. Joint up, jet wash everywhere. Clean up, get the soil in. And away we go. So a bit of a steady Friday for us today. Have a great Sunday and we will catch you next week.